What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Commentary with Mac, where we talk about anime and gaming news that are happening right now. First things first, IGN scored Jujutsu Kaisen a six. Their reason? Too much action. Honestly, you gotta be kidding me. And I know everyone's gonna get upset. You're damn right. Because I'm talking about IGN, and we don't really respect what they gotta say when it comes to this anime shit. Honestly, because their reviews are never on point. But for some reason, this one really, really bothered me especially because they gave Attack on Titan a 10 out of 10. Now, I'm not here to discuss whether it deserves that score, but to me, if you're going to be consistent in your garbage, be consistent in your garbage takes. Sheesh. Now, I'm not going to read the whole article to you. In the review about Attack on Titan, you said the Attack on Titan finale does suffer from a bit of awkward pacing as it's 80% fights and 20% dialogue, and also brief scenes of clunky written dialogue, but this does not lessen the impact of what takes place on the screen. And then when you're talking about the Shibuya arc of JJK, you say there was a relentless bombardment of fighting scenes. This ends up doing the characters pacing and story a disservice. Now, look, I don't have enough time to tell you why you're wrong because I have other things I want to talk about, but I want to leave you with this. As far as myself and anyone else who agrees with me, IGN, we've had enough of your biased takes. It's really time to pack it up. <laughs> and in more sad news, Microsoft lays off around 2,000 of their video game workforce. This comes three months after they just acquired Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. That's billion with a B. Now, I don't have too much to comment on this. I mean, yes, it does suck, but if you know anything about business and when these big conglomerates combined, there's always going to be some layoffs. It just sucks because I do like Microsoft and especially Xbox, and I don't like seeing people lose their job as someone who has been laid off in the past. And also, I don't want the Sony ponies in my comments saying that I'm being biased. I mean, just last year, Microsoft made around $60 billion in revenue. And we're only in January, and the gaming industry has already laid off half of the workforce that they laid off last year. Again, this sucks, and my condolences are to those who lost their job during these layouts and who may lose their job in the future. So Suicide Squad drops this week. Are you excited? No. Why, why not? As most of you have seen, Rocksteady pulled the Suicide Squad early access one hour after its release. This is due to a bug that when you sign in, the game auto-completes. Now, I can't lie, Rocksteady, y'all looking really nasty in the light. First, you push this game back so many times I can't even remember when it was supposed to be released. Then you don't want IGN to review the game. Not like we needed that shit anyway. And now the game has bugs on the early access after all the pushbacks at some point the developers have to look at this game put it to the light take it outside and throw it in the trash look i love the arkham games i own all of them but some things just can't be recreated they tried it with gotham knights that also had issues. They have stated that they found the bug and are working to fix the issue. But Rocksteady, if you ask me, I could tell you exactly how you can fix this issue. Just throw the game in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, this is not commentary with Mac without some Sony hate. And with the new Madam Web movie coming out next month, you know I gotta talk about it. To be honest, I'm not excited to see this at all, but when I saw that Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man may be the Spider-Man of this universe, I was a little bit interested. I liked those movies, obviously they weren't the best, but I liked his version of Spider-Man because he gave us that gritty, dark Spider-Man that I think we do need to see. Then Sony was like, no, Tom Holland's actually gonna be the Spider-Man of this universe. And I said, okay, let's go. Get my boy Tommy in there, you feel me? Tomasi, we need it, of course. Sony then again said no. Well, they didn't really say no, but they said that the Spider-Man that Madam Web is protecting in this movie is born in 2003. Tom Holland's Spider-Man is born in 2001. So who, which, where, who, how, when, which Spider-Man is this? The world may never know until it comes, until the movie comes out. Now, Sony, you've put me on an emotional roller coaster when it comes to this game. So I, for one, will not be watching this. But if you do watch it, please let me know how it is so I can tell you how dumb you are for wasting your money. See, I didn't know I came here to be disrespected.
And lastly, I know by now we've all seen the Power World craze. We actually did a whole podcast episode on it. You can go check it out on the YouTube or on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not even here to talk about Power World the game. I want to talk about the response that the Pokemon company gave about the game. Now you could pause to read, but when I read it, I was like, ooh. Pokemon Company, you saucy bitch. First and foremost, they didn't even mention the name of the company or the name of the game. They referred to Power World as that game. That's how you clear a bitch. Now, it's been a long time since I've seen this level of sass, and I'm all here for it. To be honest with you, I would hate to be in a breakup with the Pokemon Company because the level of sneak dissing and... To be really honest with you, it's not even really a sneak diss. It's more of a non-acknowledgement. And the ability to talk about Power World this way after they just did 5 milli in a week? I have nothing to say but kudos to you. Kudos to the Pokemon Company. And with that being said, thank you again for watching Commentary with Mac, where we talk about anime and video game news. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.